Hello, welcome to Japan News, where each week we bring you updates on what's happening with Japan's manufacturing industry. I'm Angela Corriero. My name is Kozo Sekano. So this week in the news, Kirin starts alcohol-free beer sales in the USA. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, strictly speaking, it's not the beer. We, if we call it beer, the government will impose another tax. Ah. So it's non-alcohol sparkling drink. <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, Kirin Free, as it's called in uh, Japan, is absolutely delicious. Um, why are they expanding to the United States? Well, they understand there is a great demand for that kind of product mm -hmm. because uh, in America everybody drives. Uh, mm. right. For the safety, uh, they need to have that kind of uh, new drink and it has to be delicious mm. with a beer flavor. Mm. It is good. I, I drink it all the time. Yeah. Mm. Um, when is it going to start? Sales? Uh, they're going to market in September. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, where is it going to be available? Uh, it's going to be on the west coast of the United States. Okay, for the, in the beginning only. Right. Mm -hmm. And about, uh, we are related to uh, Kirin Beer Company, mm -hmm. I, I understand they're going to, or they have already given a special bonus uh, value, uh, 1 million yen, that's about, third, uh, let's see, uh, $130,000. No, thirteen. No, no, thirteen thousand dollars. <laughs> Bonus to the Nadeshiko team. Right. Uh -huh. uh, this is uh, Japan's women's soccer team that won the, the World Cup uh, just a little while ago, and each player will get that bonus. Why? Uh, actually, women, women's soccer were not so popular until they won, mm. and. Uh, Unless, uh, except a few very famous players, they had to have an, another job to, right, yeah. to make a living. Yeah. And then they inspired a lot of people, mm. and the kidding mm. was one of them, mm. and they decided to help those uh, uh, sports ladies. Alright, in other news, Toyota uh, increasing production in China and India. India, yes. Uh, mm. That is to meet the rapid increase of uh, demand in Indian market, mm -hmm. Indian automobile market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are going to increase the production capacity. Mm -hmm. Any investment, by the way, isn't that correct? Uh, they are going to invest uh, 1.72 billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And also they are going to create new jobs uh, in the market. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, they're they're doing some of the similar things in China in the next couple of years. Well, that will that will that's going to be happen. Uh, that will happen in China in 2013. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Things are moving. Uh, Japan's machine tool companies are also on the globalization track. What's going on with uh, Yamazaki Mazak machine tool company and uh, Moriseki? Uh, Yamazaki Mazak is one of the largest machine tool company in Japan. Still privately owned, isn't that correct? Yes, it's not mm. the public company, mm -hmm. but their performance is so great. Mm. And they're going to build a new plant in Dalian, China, mm. and it will be completed by the end of uh, next year. And uh, We reported a few weeks ago that machine tool sales are absolutely skyrocketing throughout the world at the moment. That's right. Mm. And that is actually the second production center in China. Mm -hmm. uh, so their production capacity will be doubled. Wow. Mm. And uh, Moriseki? Moriseki, uh, they are going to have a joint venture with our uh, Chinese largest machine tool company mm -hmm. and another company from Germany. Oh. And they are going to uh, produce a production center. Hmm. And actually, another machine tool company, Okuma, mm -hmm. Uh, they, they also uh, increase the production capacity in China. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, uh, now the Japanese summer bonus. We have some interesting news. Uh, this year, on average, bonuses were up by 4.5%. Yes, uh, compared to uh, last year. And the average amount was actually about uh, 800,000 yen. That's almost uh, no, $1,000. $10,000. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. $10,000. No, you Close. don't get a bonus of $10,000. Yes? No! What? The average bonus was $10,000? It's it's less than 
$10,000, like Jacques Mayen, 80, 80 ma. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. That's, People uh, get a $10,000 bonus here in Japan. Yes. $1,000 is just, uh, you know. Nothing. <laughs> nothing to my end. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> just come to Japan. <laughs> it's a great, great place to work. It's a, it's a uh, 2.5 or sometimes three, uh, three times equivalent of monthly salary. Three times of the monthly salary is a semi-annual bonus. Right. Impressive. And they get two times a year. Hmm. Mm. Um, I think that's all. Well, Thank you. Oh, well go ahead. about the winter bonus, you yeah. know, this is uh, this reflect uh, the pre-disaster period economy, uh -huh. but the the disaster occurred, so we never know what happens to their uh, winter bonus. There are so many uncertainties, like uh, the U.S. economy is no good and uh, mm. instability of uh, exchange rate mm. and the political situation is very, very unstable. Where? In all of the world, like oh. Middle East uh, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. or economy, for example, South European countries and uh, lots of conflicts here and there. So uh, this summer the Japanese bonus was very good, uh, but the winter bonus is still up in the air. Right, mm. but we still continue to make an effort. Mm. Mm. Excellent. Okay, thank you so much for joining us this week and we'll see you next week. For more information, please log on to www.processimprovementjapan.com. Thank you, see you next week. Bye-bye.